Get me a little wrench to go on that clamp. <clears throat> Let's see. There you go. That's the one. Some reason I think a tow wrecker while I'm doing this because this looks a little bit like the kind of thing I'd expect him to do. Or maybe 63 impala or maybe cutworm, cutworm wood. <sighs> Musty, he would, he might do this, but he might do something much more elegant. He's actually a much more elegant kind of guy than a lot of us. That's not a criticism, he's just really. He's very sharp. He's a lot sharper than some of the rest of us, I think. That's a compliment. I mean it was one, and I think it is one. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it as one. He's a nice fella, and I like him a lot. I like him a whole lot. try to do is uh, get that clamp to catch a hold there and then we just snug it her up that can just kind of overlaps itself right on top of that see like this here so now we got not only a he-man a he-man whatever they call that a manly man fiber fix fix we got a little redneck fixage in here too just saying, I need another clamp. I'll get me another clamp. I'll put another clamp right there. Before I tighten that one up, I'll get me another one. Now I've got me another clamp to put on the other end of this. I'll put two on it. Two ought to do it. Thanks. I think I'd like to slide this back. Yeah, slide this whole thing back a little bit. I got looking at it and I got thinking it. I got this better. It slid back a little. The hole was kind of close to this back part back here. So. Looks like I've done sprung a leak in my glove there, but that's okay. I'm about done with it now. Okay. I believe for the kind of hole we had, that's probably fixed well enough. The hole was right in here. Uh, uh, really, it ain't much of a test of the fiber fix because it's fiber fix plus Gorilla Tape plus a tin can. So I guess we can't really call it a test, but I think the fiber fix might be good. Might have been a good place to start. see a great deal of oil leakage while I'm under here I always look around for any oil leakage or anything I had a little there but I think that's something that Jim fixed already <coughs> I'll give that a few more minutes I know that both give that fiber fix about 15 minutes to harden up it's probably been that long but I'll give it a few extra minutes and I'll get it down to get the Volkswagen in there back where it goes and then uh, the other thing i need to do out in the cold is to get under my neighbor's truck the other day i fixed his tail light but he had two tail lights he's got two on each side and two of them the ones on the left side weren't working my thinking is the way those tail lights go back to there there's a good chance there's a wire back there that's either broke or grounded out 
he had some blown fuses too and when i replaced one of those fuses it immediately blew so got a dead short in there somewhere and it could very easily be exactly what's causing them lights not to be working i gotta clean this up one day when i'm not freezing myself to death i'll go in and warm up a bit give that a few minutes to cure we'll come back out here and get the toyota down see what she sounds like and uh and go from there okay okay Whew. let's see i wonder what i did with my hat there it is that's one of my good hats too it ain't ruined yet Oh, hold the joy.